Greetings, friend. Timberlake here for Smart Hobbies. I got a treat for you today. This is called Forage Arage by Bondi. Don't know what that means. I looked it up. I tried. If you do know, put it in the comments. But I'm excited. Look at how this Sudoku is. Very symmetric. Uh, I love the design here. I've done many Bondi puzzles in the past. Always enjoyed them. Thank you, Bondi. Uh, in fact, Bondi will... I'll say, hey, I'm looking for these kind of uh, techniques or puzzles or looking for this kind of design, and he'll whip something up. Uh, it's really amazing uh, how creative he is with that. So I'm going to do this. I haven't solved before, so it's a live solve. I'm excited to see what kind of advanced strategies we're going to find here. Uh, today is a normal solve day, so I'm going to show all the cans. And with that, it's solving time. <clears throat> all right. What do I notice off the bat? The ones are limited, row four, uh, to block six. So I'm going to... Those are, can't be ones. It means one, one left here. Four nine, four nine. So that can't be a four nine. I see there's only one three. And that's an eight. Got a four nine pair. So we have four nine, four nine. All right, I'm gonna keep track of that. Uh, I have a one four nine. And there's only one two here in column seven. Okay. Uh, the eights are limited to row uh, row eight. They're limited to block. Uh, seven, so they, I can eliminate those eight. That's a claiming pair. And something else I'm going to do, and I kind of noticed, I haven't really talked about it much, is when I do this approach where I show all the candidates, I call it, it's a modern software approach. Uh, that can be a one, because it's one, four, nine. And the idea of modern software approach is to eliminate candidates, so there's only one possibility. So I'm going to try to solve more about eliminating and then showing you what's left. So in this case, I can eliminate that four, nine, because we have a four, nine naked pair. That's a seven, and then this is a three. And so naked... Singles are going to be pretty obvious, but I'm going to try to, you'll probably notice me speaking a little bit different, more of the elimination of candidates more than solving the cells. All right. Uh, one, two left. Four, six, seven, nine. Can't do anything with that. There's only one eight. And so that, I can solve that for an eight, eight, eight. So two eights, eight, eight, eight. Can't do anything else with the eight. And do a quick scan. I notice there's two twos there, two twos there. So that's interesting. Um, on the twos, okay. Threes, fours, nines, nothing there. Uh, one seven, so let's solve that for a seven. And I'll kind of do a quick cross hatch. Can't do any other elimination with the sevens. Ones, uh, I only see one five. And so there's a lot of the hidden singles that I'm starting to point out. Uh, and, and find. Okay. And with this five, two fives there, two fives there. I'm going to move on now to showing the candidates, see what we can do. All right. Uh, the ones, yeah, they're in a block, but there's not enough eliminations for me to do like a unique rectangle. Uh, same thing with the twos. The threes, oh, I didn't miss that hidden single three, which creates a one, four, a pair. That means that has to be a one. We have a four, nine. Uh, naked pair. And I'm seeing a lot of fours and nines. I wonder how that's going to help us. Four nine, four nine. So we know those can't be fours and nines. We can eliminate the fours and the nines from the middle. And we can eliminate the four from right there. So you're looking at a three, five, six, naked triple in the middle. Well, that's kind of cool. Huh. Okay. So we want the fours. Again, lots of fours and nines. Four nine four nine four nine four nine. Oh, okay. So I see a remote pair. One, two, three, four. So starting here, ending here, um, and actually, you can get a, you can solve for right there, which is I'm going to take advantage of. But then you could take it further, and you could solve for here as well. So I'm going to be able to solve this for a seven, and that for a six, and. Watch. All right. So I did a tutorial on this. I'll put a link right here on remote pairs. So the idea is that it's the same two bi-value cells. It's a type of alternate inference chain. And what you're saying is if this is a four, that's a four. That would be a nine. That would be a four. That would be a nine. So four here, that's a nine. If this was not a four, that's a nine. And this would be a four. Anyway, you can get rid of both of these candidates. So that can get rid of both of those. And then what I was saying was that's a seven, that's a six. What I also saw is to three, four, you know, five, six, you can continue this remote pair and go to here, right? So here, 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 
there, there, there. And remember, it has to be multiples of two. It's got to be even number of cells. So we did a four cell elimination the first time. Now it's a six cell chain. And you can eliminate the four and nine from right there. So that's a six. So I was able to see that right off the bat. Very cool. Love it. Uh, I, I love seeing remote pairs. I think they're one of the easier, especially the easier of like the X, Y chain, all the different chains to find because it, you're, it's the same BVCs the whole time. Well, cool. How's that affect um, our solving? Okay, two sevens right there. The six. How's that lim you limit the sixes? Still two sixes, still two sixes. Nice. Anything else I can do with the fours? Uh, two fours there. One, two, three, four. No four, nine. No four, nine. Yeah, we got right. Figure that out. And three, four. Well, let's see. Hmm. I was looking to see if I could do another uh, type remote pair. So maybe from here, but no, there's nothing that I, I can make limit from the remote pair that I can see right now. Uh, four, seven, four, nine. Is there like a seven, nine? No. Okay. I'm just going to move on. And now I'm looking if there's like a skyscraper, you know, some kind of easy logic. That I don't see it. We want the fives. Uh, nothing I can do with the fives. Let's go to the sixes. Uh, sixes are pretty set. Uh, nothing there. Go to sevens. No big deal. Sevens, eights, cool. Nines. Again, because we had those four nines, a lot of nines. And maybe this might be a better way of looking at things uh, versus the fours because there's a little bit less on the nines. What can I do? What can I eliminate? Uh, we do have an empty rectangle is what I see. So this is the empty rectangle shape. I call it slice and dice. And then you'll notice this is the conjugate pair that we can use to make the elimination. Um, so basically, you know, if a nine's on one here, nine can't be there. And so then this would be a nine, right? And so if this is a nine, that can't be a nine. If a nine's not in one of these spots, the only other place it can be is right here in column or block three. So if the nine's right there, that still can't be a nine. So either way, that can't be a nine. What that does is now this just creates a claiming pair of nines, right? So that can't be a nine and that can't be a nine either. So we got quite a few eliminations from that. Sweet. Love it, love it. All right. And then how does that affect things? Um, Got this two four, so we created ourselves another BVC. That's a four eight. You know, those are loosely related to each other. If we could find a connection with the two eight, you have a two four eight up there. But I don't see anything else with these nines. I really liked seeing this conjugate pair of nines at the bottom. That was helpful. All right, let's move on here. Oh, I got some uh, quite a few BVCs. You know, a lot of those are the four nines, and I wonder if there's something we can do. That helps solve. Like, could we get from this four nine to that four nine? Hmm. Probably not easily. That two doesn't link to anything. This four nine, that four nine, nothing that it can solve with. Um. But okay, one, two, three, four, five. And this is where you can get in trouble. You know, one cell, one cell, two, three. Four, five is not. You can't do a alt or a, a remote pair with five. You need six cells to work with, or four cells to work with. So we could start here, but there's no eliminations if you go from here to here. But let's see here: four to nine, nine to four, four to nine, nine to four, four to nine, nine to four. Four to the nine. Yeah. Can't make an elimination there. Okay. I feel like there's something really like I'm close. Nine four four nine. Nine four four nine. Nope. These two four nines are linked. One, two, three, four, five. But that's an eight. Is there another BVC with an eight? Nope, another BVC with a six, yes. Six, but there's nothing linking with a seven. Is there another one with seven? Nope. Uh, might be a little early on that. So let's go back. Oh, it would help if I you know, saw this, that there's just one hanging out there. 
Goodness. Timberlake twos. You now have an empty rectangle type seven right here. So that's one, and you can see it's type seven because there's one cell uh, that has just the BVCs, two, four. The rest of them have the two, four. The twos are limited to those four spots. So you look opposite and you can eliminate a four from right there because fours can be other spots. Because if that was a four, you'd have a two, two, and a four. You could solve the rest of the puzzle in theory and you'd be able to do two, four, four, two. You'd have two solutions. This puzzle has one unique solution. I put that in the disclaimer so you can get rid of that four right there. Look at the threes, can't do anything there. Uh, the fours. And I'm seeing some interesting things with the fours, but nothing I can do to solve, right? Do the... No, I'm not seeing anything I can solve with. Okay, go with the fives. Nothing to do with the fives. Sixes, still okay. Can't do anything with sixes. Sevens, okay. Eights, nothing there. Uh, nines. Now, we change anything with the nines by solving this one over here. Um, now I'm kind of looking to see if I missed maybe a, uh, like a naked triple type thing. Because the remote pairs are fun. I, I'm liking the remote pair option. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, I can't get to an eight. Hmm. Just short. Okay, so we have a quick remote pair right here. Two, three, four. Okay, another. I like it though. This is great. So this can't be a four or a nine, right? Because that's a four, that's a nine, and vice versa. It just now, I wonder if there's a, you know, hmm. That was cool. I like that. And that gives us another BVC. So now you have a five, seven, four, seven. So that's helpful. Um, is there something else here, remote pair wise? Because this is really helping us cash in these remote pairs. Uh, let's go to the fours. Can't. Let's see, does that help us solve more? Uh, no. Now let's see here if we have enough. Uh, BVCs. Okay, four nine. Okay, eight four four. I'm looking at the eight. There's not another eight, so I'm going to not ignore that. Or um, four nine four six. So we have a six nine. Nope. Six, four, eight. Four six six five five three three six. Okay, so there's a quick X Y chain right here. Wait, no, I got ahead of myself. Okay, uh, six four four seven seven five five three three six. Okay, yeah, we can do it with the sixes. Six of the four, four of the seven, seven of the five, five of three, three of the six, right? So what we're saying is you got a six here. If six is not there, six is going to be there. So this can't be a six. That can't be a six. That's a five. That's a three. That's a four. And that's going to be huge helping us solve this puzzle because now this is its own six, right? Four, seven, four, seven. Um, how much damage did we do? The six is quite a bit. One six left there. Let's see if I can just solve the rest of the sixes without having to go and filter by sixes. There we go. Bye bye sixes. Sweet. Four eight four eight. Another, you know, we have another four nine here. Four nine four nine four nine. Or one, two, three, four, five. Still five. Two, three, four, five. So we can't eliminate that just off of remote pairs. I want to, but can't. Okay. Ah, oh, all right, all right. 
Now, let's look here. I feel like we're, I mean, I'm like one solve away from just cracking this puzzle. And so I'll get that real quick here. It's not with the eights. It's probably going to be the remote pairs again. Or with the nines. One, two, three, four. No, one, two, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No. Nope. Huh. Two, three, or one, two, three, four, five, six. No. Nope. Nine, seven, seven, five, or let's see here. Seven, do we have a four, five? Nope. Okay, I will solve this. I know I will solve this. We made all kinds, oh, yeah. There's two, that's an eight. And that's a two. Four, nine, four, nine, that's eight. Finally, this four, nine pairs would crack that eight. I've been looking at that eight for a long time. Four, seven, nine, that's an eight. Okay, I think we're just about home stretch here. Uh, only one, three left, that's a three. Five nine five nine, four five nine, and then oh, we're not quite to a uh, bug plus one. I was about to throw down some of that, but I, I, we won't do that. Instead, what we'll do is look for a real quick. Uh, did I miss something? No, there's something here at the sevens. Uh, no, and then with the nines, is it something real easy, quick. One two three four. Five. Nope. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, we're not going to be able to do any more. But can we? Okay. One, two, three. Can't solve it that way. I'm trying to maybe eliminate from there. But the only way to eliminate from there would be to connect to that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Yeah, it doesn't work that way. Okay. Huh. Or can we eliminate this one, you know? One, two, no, three. That's not going to work. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, no, nine. Can't do it. Okay. So I see there's two cells right here and right here that have three cans remaining. So if we can get rid of that, uh, one of those, probably it'll unravel the rest of the puzzle. Let's look and see if we can get rid of something right here. How about 7 to 4, 4 to 7. Okay, 7 to 9, 9 to 5, or 7 to 9, okay, 9 to 4, 4 to the 9, all right. 9 to the 4, 4 to the 9, 9 to the 4, 4 to the 7. Okay, so if we start here, uh, if this is a 7, then that's a 4. If that's not a 7, this is a 7. Okay, got it. Either way, that's not a 7. Cool, another XY chain. And 4949 four, nine means that has to be a 7. That's a 4, that's a 7. All right, now I think we cracked the puzzle. Let's get rid of this. 9, 7, 4. That was fun. I love the multiple applications of the remote pairs. Thank you so much, Bondi, for uh, letting me feature this puzzle on my channel. I enjoyed solving it. I love seeing the way you can go with different strategies. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to come back each day in February and get new puzzles, new videos from me. Thank you all so much for watching.